Hi Bruce from Safari. We're going to do a complete walk through this uh, Zion RV, but it's really our uh, automation in our 2023 caravan. Now this is a brand new van and it hasn't been finished on the floor. This is just to protect everything. And let's have a look at what we've done here. So um, in this van here, we've got a 6000 inverter up there, the multi RS, and we've got the equivalent 800 amp hours of lithium. And look, that just fits perfectly into that van. You can see it there. We get access to the front of the batteries down there. We can see them all that are down there. And then uh, we've got over here our 12 volt uh, array over here that's dropping out 12 volts uh, for all the 12 volt devices. And then the uh, bridge uh, fuses that are in here. So we've got independent fuses running off to the batteries and then the distribution over there in 12 volt. And uh, that's our always on modem and that's the Victron Turbo device. And then what's new here is the digital switching. So what we've got over here, um, a whole set of outputs that are down here and they're all labeled. And this is the digital switch device. And what's different to say the C-Zone is it's all digital. There's no fuses here that you move around. It's all digital or MOSFET control. And you can manually turn on any one device by selecting the manual mode, scrolling across to the number that matches on here, and then turning it on off. And you can both turn it on, you can isolate one as well, turn it off and the automation will bypass it. And then over here, we've got regular fuses going out that are all labeled here. And we've got some other fuses underneath there. There's a lot in this fan and that's labeled here. Compressors down at the bottom there. And that fits under the bed there uh, quite neatly. The inverter over there, batteries here and the rest of the, the stuff here. So, and then up on the board up above here, we've got a few more breakers that, are, that aren't normally fitted. Um, we've got the aircon on a separate breaker. We've got the solar PV breaker in here. We switch both the positive and the negative. Most people don't realize that the negative goes to ground. It'll create major, major drama. So we isolate the negative and the positive. And if that goes to ground, this will trip. It's a residual current detector on solar. And uh, then we've got main switch power coming in. And the rest of the devices up here are all taken out. So there's a bit of storage in there and there's storage in there. There's nothing else uh, stored in that cabinet either. And then over here, there's nothing stored in this cabinet either. Everything's removed from there that was in there before. And then at the back of this um, head unit, as we call it, we've got this white box in here. So uh, that's all up there. Now, one of the things you'll notice is that display here, which I come back with, which I'm gonna go through in a minute, is the one that's in the van, but it's on a mount. There it is there, and you can actually operate the sound system while it's off, put it back on. But down here, I've got the mount for the car. So I've got an eight inch screen here, and that sits on a suction cap mount. So for this particular customer with the LC200, they will either take this off and mount it on the suction cup in their car, or if they're lucky enough, they'll have two of them, a his and hers. And then at night, this unit here will come off, go back into the pocket, into the bed. They can operate all the lights, operate absolutely everything. If we had the cameras in there, seal the cameras outside, everything uh, by the bed. There's no need to have any other switches there. Just showing the Zone RV Solar again. So today is a bit cooler. Solar's not as intense. You can see here right now, it's, uh, it's uh, pretty overcast here at the moment, 480 watts. But let's see what the maximum is that we did today. And the nice thing about Victron is no lying. There it is. So today we've done a max of 1773 watts, 329 volts off the roof. Been running now for seven hours and 54 minutes. It's one o'clock, 1.30 in the afternoon. So that means it's been going since, yep, 5.30 this morning, nearly before six o'clock we were producing power. And yesterday we did only 13.53. Now, why is that much hotter yesterday, full sun? and the solar panels, once they get hot, drop back in value a bit. Today is much cooler. Um, but yesterday we did nearly 10 kilowatt hours of energy. Now the batteries in this are only 9,600 um, watt hours, or 9.6 kilowatt hours. So we put more power in yesterday than the batteries. So if you're gonna run the aircon all night, uh, it could run and we've been running the uh, fridge and the hot water uh, has been on all day as well. So. Um, up here today, we're only producing C3.88 and we design it so that uh, typically in a day like today, it'll be about half. And we design it so that the Scotty can do the top up power 
from the vehicle and in half an hour of idling it will add in here at least 1500 or 2000 which is two kilowatt hours onto this which is quite significant and that's the backup for the solar and I've got to say how good's that